man. This is bad. Really bad. This is the worst yet. According to my research notes... This isn't the time for your stupid research notes, Bob. We're gonna get crushed. Not for 47 more seconds if my calculations are correct. Oh, that's great, Jupiter. We're gonna die in 47 seconds. 39 now! Mulder Dash. The three investigators have never lost a case yet. And we're not going to now. Bob, what do we have on elevators? I've researched them during the case of the hiccuping dentist. There's usually a fire axe in the shaft. It's over there! We've got 22 seconds left. 12 seconds. It seems I forgot to factor in inertial momentum. 10, 9, 8, the rope's coming loose. 7, 6, and I'll cut you free. No, no. Cut the counterweight rope. We've got to make the elevator fall faster. Exactly. Cut the rope now. You're crazy. The safety governor senses when the elevator moves too fast and activates the emergency brakes. Simple, but elegant design. Some days, I'm not so sure this investigating business was a good idea. Quick, we've got an auction to attend. Let's get out of here. Next, we have a lovely oil painting by the English Victorian painter, Frederick Layton. We'll start at $20,000. 20. 20. 20. 25. 25? 30. 30, thank you, ma'am. Do I have 35? If not, this 35. Thing. Young man, the bid is 35,000, not $35. $35,000. 40,000? 50. 60,000. 60, Mr. Hanson. Is there no other bids? $100,000. I beg your pardon. $200,000. 300, 400, it doesn't matter. It's still a bargain. And I'll prove it. What are you doing, young man? No! Oh, no! Oh. You've destroyed a masterpiece. No. All I've done is destroy a worthless forgery. But the painting underneath. Oh. Look what they've done. A self-portrait by Rembrandt. According to the Los Angeles Times, it was reported stolen from this gallery six months ago. But the ingenious truth is that the painting never left this building. It took a master art forger and master of disguise to pull off this crime. Victor Huginet. How do you know? Huginet has never been able to resist taking credit for his work. As always, he has hidden his signature on the forger. Who are you? We're the three investigators. Allow me to present our card. Stuttering Paris?
meeting of the three investigators is now convened. Old business? The case of the missing Rembrandt has been solved and is being put into the archives. But not with a totally satisfactory conclusion, I'm afraid, since Hugene is still at large. Bob, will you write a report for Officer Reynolds? Sure. Now for new business. You'll never guess in a million years where we're going next. Um, South Africa. Sometimes you're just downright spooky, Jupe. How did you guess that? Oh, I thought you'd done some super investigator deducing. Remember the first rule of the investigator. See what's right in front of you. Why are we going to South Africa? My dad was going to take me on vacation, but suddenly he got a big job offer to build an amusement park near Cape Town. I guess he felt bad about letting me down, so he's invited all three of us to go visit. Cool. What's the place called? Skeleton Island. Skeleton Island. Haven't I heard that name before? Discovered by Sir Horatio Wilbur. Uninhabited. Ancient burial ground. Reported to be cursed. A curse? Do you think there might be a possible case for us there? Oh, no. We've had three tough cases in a row. We deserve a break. Sounds to me like a code white. Vacation! So, it appears we're off to South Africa. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Jupiter? Hey, Mr. Crenshaw. Bob? How are you? Welcome to South Africa. This is Bill, our wildlife expert and ranger. Bill, this is my son, Pete. <coughs> Crap idea to bring kids to Skeleton Island. Unless you want to get rid of them. Bill's sense of humor takes a little getting used to. Looks like you packed your entire room. You know how worried my mom gets. She's convinced I'm going on a jungle safari. Can you help me put it on? Thanks. Job going, Dad. Great. We're going to the island right now. The original contractor quit a few days ago. Miss Wilbur, the owner, needs me there. First contractor went to the island alone. Damn fool. <laughs> Came back a whimpery, drooling bag of gin. Scared out of his wits. <laughs> Couldn't even tell it since I made. Funny though. He had these huge scratches on his neck. He was attacked by an animal? I never see an animal with claws like those. And I've seen every wild beast there is. Skeleton Island Vacation. Note number one. Unknown claw marks. You're late. The park is already behind schedule. I'm sorry, Miss Wilbur. I have to pick up my son and his friends. Tom, see to it that Oscar gets taken home. And make sure the door is locked. If he gets away this time, it's on your head. Mm -hmm. Yes, Miss Wilbur. Pleased to meet you. I'm Jupiter Jones. What a cute child. <laughs> Faraday, it's your responsibility to see that they don't get into any trouble. 
I don't want any accidents or deaths interfering with my project. Don't worry, Miss Wilbur. I'll see to it. Mm -hmm. Let's go, guys. Fountain, and from the food court, you'll be able to see the Big Dipper. And here, I think, is the ideal site for the snack bar. I have a piece of chalk. What for? Instead of the uh, toxic spray. Don't be so ridiculous, Grinch. Sedimentary sequences, primarily sandstone, with strata of steel and quartzite. How do you know that? While I was researching the case of the sneezing elephant, I happened to come across... Keep back, huh? Gamba! What are you doing here? He's talking to his ancestors, the way his people have for hundreds of years. But he can't do that here. I've told him to stay off my island. It's not your island. It was discovered by Sir Horatio Wilbur, my great-great-great-grandfather. He's buried here. I have more right to this island than you do. This is where the chiefs from my tribe have always gone to die. Their spirits guard this place. Good. I can use them for my ghost ride. You're in danger if you don't leave now. Are you threatening Miss Wilbur? Oh, for heaven's sake, put that gun away, Faraday. You might shoot someone. It's not me you should be afraid of. I am not afraid of anybody. You cannot build your park here. I've warned you. Faraday, I do not want to see him here again. Is that clear? Yes, Miss Wilbur. Good. Crenshaw, let's continue. Now, moving along down here, we come to the most exciting part, the cave. Let's see where he's going. Of course, you do know what's going to happen there. I did tell you, it's the roller coaster, so we need the entire cave. Excavate. Remember, we're not in a case. Up. We're on vacation. Where did he go? I split up. Very smooth. Watch the pro. Hi, I'm Pete. Do you know the way to the nearest beach? It's an island. You can go anywhere. Good point. What's your name? Chris. Well, Chris, I'm Pete. Here's my business card. The three investigators. We investigate anything. We've never lost a case. What are the three question marks for? We're detectives. The question mark is the universal symbol of the unknown. We are prepared to solve any puzzle, riddle, mystery, enigma, or conundrum which may be brought to us. Hence, the question mark is our trademark. Does he always talk this much? <laughs> this is nothing. Once you get him started... So, you are detectives. Tata! -ta! 
Not too observant, letting my daughter sneak up on you like this. Let's go. You told Miss Wilbur she was in danger. What did you mean? She doesn't know what she's doing. Something happened here a very long time ago. Something that... Doing it by yourselves. You're not allowed to wander this island alone. I've got my eye on you. Miss Wilbur, maybe we should do this another day. Oh, nonsense. I refuse to let their silly native superstitions interfere with my park. Faraday, will you please deal with your guards? They're being simply impossible. Too long. Wait there. Why are you upsetting the boss? What's going on? Guards are upset that Miss Wilbur painted over the secret engravings. And they refuse to enter the cave. Okay. According to legend, a spirit lives in there. The Tokolosh. You go back and fetch the camera. In the meantime, I'll select a suitable spot to set them up. Um, Miss Wilbur, I really think I should come in with you. Don't be ridiculous, Faraday. It's only a cave. Miss Wilbur has entered the cave. Miss Wilbur, what happened? I saw it. There. The Tokolosh! Where? Are you all right? Look. The scratches. Hey, Chief. Do something useful for once and help us carry her out. Okay. Oh, my God. Come on, Miss Wilbur. Let's get you home. Thank you. I think I know who's behind all this. Gumba, I've got you. I warned you there was danger. You're gonna be arrested, Gumba. For what? For assaulting Miss Wilbur. No! Let my father go! Listen to me, Chris. He didn't do anything! Just don't go back home. It's too dangerous. Find Grace. You must find Grace! You detectives! Aren't you gonna do something? You're not good for anything. This seems to be a particularly difficult sort of extraordinary case. But Dad, there's no way Gama could have gotten in or out of the cave. Pete, I told you I don't want you boys to get involved. Bob, 
Your mom must never know. But it looks like Chris could need our help. The only reason you're interested is there's a pretty girl involved. Let Faraday and the police handle it. You can go sightseeing. Now, I'm sure that uh, Bill will drive you around. Won't you, Bill? Don't have much choice, do I? Hello. This is Jasmine. How are you? I'm okay, I'm okay. This is my son, Pete, and his friend, Jupiter, and Bob. Hi. Welcome to my guest house, boys. Please, come inside. I don't like being blamed for wrecking a girl's life. Especially a pretty girl. Left alone. Nowhere to go. Freezing in the cold. It's hot outside. Don't be so logical, Jupiter. Her father said she was in danger. Code orange. Intruder protection. for you to drop in. What are you doing here? I've got 200 rands here. All my savings. I wanted to hire the three investigators to clear my father. You didn't seem to trust as much. I don't. But you're the only detectives I know. And you said you haven't lost a case. Right. 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 So if I show you respect, I expect the same from you. Oh, I respect you. With all my heart. Before we can decide whether to take on a case, you have to tell us everything you know. I will. Who do you think attacked Miss Wilbur? She said what it was. The Tokolosh. Your father said something before he was taken away by Faraday. A fine grace. What do you think he meant by that? I don't know. Nothing makes any sense. Excellent. I warn you, when we take on a case, we follow all the clues wherever they lead. <laughs> I'm not swayed by sentiment or any other personal feelings. That... Thank you, Jupiter. Thank you. You're going to get to the bottom of all this. I just know it. Thank you. I think we should preserve a correct detective client relationship. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. Here, take the 200 rand. No, no. We don't take the fee until the case is closed. But we have work to do first. Tomorrow, we'll go to the jail and ask your father about Grace. Right, I'll come back in the morning. But, but your father said it was dangerous for you to go back home. I've got an idea. You could stay here overnight. <laughs> no, I don't want to be any trouble. It's no trouble at all. I've got it figured out. You could stay in the bottom bunk with me. No! I, I mean, I, I think it would be, uh, she'd be safer in the top bunk with me. Uh, she, she might have hit her head in the bottom bunk. No, that's okay. You wouldn't want to take space away from Teddy. I don't have a teddy bear! Yes, you do. He's up. Perhaps a random drawing might be the most impartial way to figure yeah. things out. I've got it under control, Jupe. Chris and I will be very comfortable in the bottom bunk. Or won't we? So, Pete, how was your sleeping arrangement? 
Bob was snoring all night long. Really? I guess I was fast asleep. Planning on a little elephant hunting today. My mom packed for me. It's all I have. <laughs> He's not there. What? Who? My father. I called the jail, but he never arrived. But we saw Faraday take him away. I have to get home and see if he's there. Where to? Take us to Chris's home. Where do you stay? Kailicha. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going there. Township is no place for three white kids, especially dressed like that. My mom packed for me. You want to get me into trouble, please? Your old man will go bananas if he finds out you've gone into a township. So don't tell him. Please. You get murdered. Don't come to me and complain. Deal. What's all that clicking? It's a sound in the call sign language. Actually, there are three different kinds of click sounds. The first is the simple click, as in call sign. Call sign. I can't do it. Someone broke in last night. But what could they have been looking for? Let's recapitulate. Sometimes I wish you'd just speak English. Who was the last person seen with Gamba? Faraday. Gamba. Gotcha. And the last thing Miss Wolver said to him was, I do not want to see him here again. Yes, Miss Wolver. We have to get to Miss Wolver's house immediately. Pete, stop shaking the table. That isn't me. of the three investigators. <laughs> the truck. This was no accident. It seems that someone tried to kill us. But who would want to do this? A house. Everything's gone. Everything. <laughs> It'll be okay, Chris. We'll figure things out. Don't worry. We'll help all we can. <laughs> you can't help me! I was stupid to think you could. Just look what's happened! something that's hidden here. What is that? It's a painting. 
Who is this? It's Princess Lufefa. Lufefa. Does that mean something in English? It means grace. Find grace! You must find grace! This is what your father wanted us to find. Somebody obviously wants us to stop investigating. But they don't know the three investigators. We have to make a visit to Miss Wilbur. I'm declaring a code green. Imminent danger. Who was Princess Rufefe? She was a princess of our tribe, with Kosa. Kosa. I can't do it. She fell in love with a handsome young man, but her father didn't allow it. So to prove her love, she stole the most precious object of our people, the crown of the Kosa, and gave it to her secret lover. When the theft was discovered, she was killed, and her lover disappeared. Look, there's a hand on her shoulder. Maybe that's her lover's hand. What happened to the crown? The legends say it lies in the secret lover's grave. Miss Wilbur, he's growing restless again and I don't know how to control him. Can't you handle anything? I'm sorry, I tried, but he attacked me. Go back and give him his lunch. And be sure the door is locked, all right? Yes, Miss Wilbur. My father's in there. She's locked him up. We have to break into the house and rescue him. Somehow, I don't think this is what Dad meant when he said stay out of trouble. It's the wrong bush! No, it's that Bob, over the there. backpack. What is this? A wireless microphone and earpiece, so we can communicate. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Uh oh, trouble. Someone needs to distract Miss Wilbur while we follow Faraday. I'll do it. But you're not a trained professional like us. What's the matter? You don't trust me? some help. Stop my leg. What? Stop my leg. He's good. Let's go. I didn't see any bite. Just suck it. I love that thing. Quick. get you.
Was I wrong? Once in a million years, miracles can happen. Miss Wilbur, what are you doing? This young lady has been bitten by a snake. Call an ambulance. That's Gumba's kid. Oh. What? Yes, that's right. I am Gumba's daughter. Tell me what you've done to him. The ranch work. Let's get out of here. Wait. Look at that painting. This is no time for art appreciation. Come on, you. Hey, be careful with that. I'll bet that's a priceless work of art. Don't worry. I'm very experienced at destroying valuable works of art. Lock the door. We need to keep the mattress a bit longer. I can't lock the door. I kicked it in. The center goal of investigating is to adapt any contingency to the situation. They're in the office. Well, let's go in, Faraday, and apprehend them. Yes, Miss Moore. Get hold on. I got it. Why don't you even open a door? It's stuck. It must have jammed it from the inside. Break it down if you have to. Would you stand still, you little mix? Power of some weight. Basic physics. I just need a few more seconds. You got all the time in the world. They're not getting in now. You are pathetic. Stand aside, Miss Wilbur. These kids have messed with their own man. Incredible. Okay, take the chair away. We can't do that. They'll get in. That's the idea. No, it's not. We want to keep them out. No, we don't. I'll do it. That is a priceless antique. Look. I believe we now know the identity of the princess's secret lover. Sir Horatio Wilbur. Impossible. Bob, where is her crown supposed to be hidden? Legends say that the crown lies in the secret lover's grave. And Miss Wilbur, where is Sir Horatio buried? On Skeleton Island. So, the crown is buried on Skeleton Island? Exactly. That's what your father was trying to tell us. But why? Your father had one half of this painting. He knew about the crown, and that's why he's in danger. There are people who would do anything to get hold of a treasure like that. Uh, anything. Uh, Don't let them yak their way out of trouble, Miss Wilbur. They trespassed on your property. And I'm gonna take them into the police. Oh. You don't allow me! The Tokolos. I was down by the boats. It came up from behind. He could have killed me. But when I came to, Gamba was gone. Wait a minute. That means that Gamba's still on the island. We have to go now. I'll turn this. Bill! Where you been all this time? We need you to sell us to Skeleton Island. No way. Guys. It's getting dark. There's a low tide and we've got rough seas. You're not going anywhere tonight.
still up? I can't sleep. <clears throat> I'm too worried. If only I knew my father were all right. I'm sure he is. And your mother? She died when I was very young. Oh. I'm sorry. I don't remember her very well. But she gave me this necklace. She said it's been in our family for centuries. There was another half, but it was lost long ago. I never take it off. I know how you feel. No, you don't. I live with my aunt and uncle because both my parents died in a plane crash. Cause unknown. I can't tell you how much I hate those words. That's why I started the three investigators. I never want to leave another mystery unsolved. So you see, I do understand. Uh, so, uh, how do you do that, uh, Kosa thing? Kosa. What was that? <laughs> how do you do that? Uh, you take the side of your cheek and then go click. Like this. Look at me. Rosa. 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 Chris. We're out here. We found you, Jupiter. Alone with the girl for five minutes. You must have been in a panic. I managed. Jupiter, you have to listen to this. I was recording my research notes when Miss Wilbur was attacked in the cave, and I just played them back. What do you think that noise was? Miss Wilbur screaming? Somehow, I don't think that sound was made by a human being. So, Bill. I don't know if I trust you guys. We promise. If we get murdered, we won't come to you to complain. smart to barge in in an angry ghost. Maybe we should try spying on it from a distance first. I'm going in. Me too. Got a bad feeling about this. Tata? Tata, are you here? Gamba? Wait! 
thought I saw something. Mess things up again, Bob. <sighs> Sorry. You gonna go get it? If I mess up all the time, why don't you get it yourself? I think I will. <sighs> Mister, I'm so sorry. Wow, it's just scared me. It's okay. Do what? This is your tokabosh. It's, it's a baboon? <laughs> I knew I had heard that sound before. And then it came to me. It was a baboon cry. Quite a sophisticated setup. Who would dress up a baboon to look like a ghost? Look, there's a hole in the wall. Let's go. Gosh, Pete, you scream like a girl. And what exactly do you mean by that? Yeah, what do you mean by that? Uh, well... Look, there's something behind there. Uh, let me see. It's a grave. Mm, there's nothing here. Let's go. Get paid enough for this. Gamba! Phil! Where you are. Don't move an inch. What are you doing? Don't worry, Gamba. I'll keep my mouth shut. But you've got to tell the kid the truth. Go ahead, tell her. Tell me what? You were behind the attack on Miss Wilbur, weren't you, Gamba? You were determined to find the crown at all costs. So you disguised the baboon to resemble the tokolosh, and then trained it to attack anyone who came near the cave, to scare them away. Isn't that right? No! 
It's true. I did it. I found Sir Horatio's tomb, but the crown is not here. I guess it's just a story. Why are you saying this? Hi, Dad. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Bill called me. At least he showed some responsibility, unlike you. I told you to keep away from the detective business. And what have you been doing? Wandering into a township. Breaking into Miss Wilbur's house and now climbing into an underground cave. We can explain. No, you we... cannot. I could lose my job over this. Your trip is over. Here are tickets for you boys. You leave tomorrow. Don't lose them. Don't say anything to them. They don't have any evidence. But the investigation. I want to stop the investigation. Promise me you won't testify against my father. I can't consider evidence of a crime. I said we would follow the evidence wherever it led. Here, take your money. You've been paid for your stupid kids, now drop it. I don't care about the stupid money. What do you care about? I made a promise to myself when my parents died. Whenever there's an unanswered question, I'm gonna work until I find the truth no matter where it leads. And I keep my promises. Trooper, you can't do this to me. I have to. Gamba's responsible for the attack on Miss Wilbur. He disguised the baboon to resemble a spirit. This is the mask he used. No, it's not true! Sir. So. Caught red-handed. Let's get you off to the police, Gumba. No, don't take him away! I trusted you! I thought you all were my friends! But... We are your friends. Isn't that right, Jupiter? One time, I wish we'd lost the case. Bob! Huh? Rita, right now, Code Violet! Code Violet? I don't even know what Code Violet is! Look, 
Look at this. There's writing. It's a poem. Or half of one. True lovers parted. If you can parse, the will is high, the space between birth. Take my image to rest in my. We need the other half. There's nothing there. Why would it be different? Because this half is a forgery. You see the significance, of course. It's early in the morning. Just tell us. Whoever had the original painting and substituted this one had to have access to Miss Wilbur's house. That doesn't sound like Gamba. But then why did he confess? Because he had to. Because somebody else was there. Listening, observing, making sure Gamba did what he was supposed to do. Someone who had the ability to threaten his daughter's life. Someone who had the opportunity to keep an eye on us. Dad. And to keep track of what we were doing at all times. An experienced wild animal wrangler who could train a baboon. Somebody who was so close to us. We never even suspected him. You kids back. I got the Land Rover out front. Bill! What are you doing? Yeah. Come on, let's hide. Guys. Original painting, as I suspected. This is all the evidence we need. Bob, call the police. Not so fast. You're not going anyone. You ever want to see Chris again? You're gonna do exactly what I say. What's that? You're gonna get me the crown. Why don't you get it yourself? I bet old Wilbur Booby Trap is final resting place. So if anyone is going to be crushed to death, or shot full of arrows, or dropped into boiling oil, it's going to be you, not me. But you the three investigators, hmm? You can solve any mystery, can't you? So now it's up to you. You have the plan. You can find the treasure. When you get the crown, take it to the Rhodes Memorial. You've got to five. You fail. You never see her again. Good luck. Get ready, investigators. Code Crimson. Unbelievably, Unbelievably dangerous. dangerous. behind them. Two lovers parted shall reunite if you can parse these words aright. The will is high, the ratio low. The space between birth and death doth grow. 
Take my image and do not dread to rest in my eternal bed. It still doesn't make any sense. How could I be so blind? What? I forgot the first rule of the investigator. To see what's right in front of you. It's all there. Sir Horatio Wilbur. 1630 to 1665. It's rather clever, actually, though a bit simplistic. All right, already, genius. Just tell us. Okay. The will is high. There's a will on Wilbur. We have to make it high. Wow. The ratio is low. That means you have to lower the ratio in Horatio. Okay, but what does he mean by space between birth and death doth grow? It's just like it says. You have to make the space between the dates grow. Excellent deduction, Bob. What's the next line? Take my image and do not dread. My image. I guess that's Sir Horatio. Should we pull it out? There's a 50% chance that's right. Okay. Here goes. Uh, I don't know. Booby trapped. Uh, what was the last line of the poem? To rest in my eternal bed. That's what we're gonna do, all right. Good joke, Horatio. We're gonna die in here. Come on, guys. What are we? We're the three investigators. We've never lost a case, and we're not going to now. Bob's right. There has to be a way out of here. Look around. Princess. 
two lovers parted shall reunite. Two lovers, together in death. It looks just like the one that Chris has. But how is that possible? Because Chris is a direct descendant of Princess Lufthese. And Sir Horatio Wilbur. You just made that up, didn't you? This was in Sir Horatio's hand. It's his farewell letter. It seems that Grace had a child by Sir Horatio before she was killed. Horatio, heartbroken, decided to bring the crown to Grace in her tomb so they would remain together for eternity. His last act was to have their portrait painted. He then ripped it in two and left one half to his black child and the other half to his white heirs. If someday, in the distant future, our black and white descendants can put aside their differences and labor together, then they shall recover the crown. It took 400 years. But it happened. Good investigating, Bob. Let's go save Chris. Come on, we have half an hour to get to the Rhodes Memorial. <clears throat> got the crown. Yeah. But first you hand over Chris. For such an intelligent boy, you never understand who has the bargaining power. I receive the crown first, or else. I still can't believe Bill's behind all this. We trusted him. But it's not Bill. Huh? Standing right there. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Bob's right. You see, there's no such person as Bill. Allow me to introduce you to Victor Huginet. Huginet? The forger of the Rembrandt? <laughs> you impress me, mon bon ami. Few people can see past my disguise as a. Hmm? How did you know? Who else could have done such a masterful forgery? But you can never resist taking credit for your work.
very clever. But not clever enough. The crown, if you please. Now let Chris go. On second thought, I think I'll keep her as a traveling companion for a little while longer. No! You promise! Ah, yes, but you see, I break my promises quite easily. Stay where you are. If you follow, I will shoot the girl. Don't turn around! I have a fear. Here we go. Jump. What are you doing? I got this. Watch out. Wood, look at this! It's a hang glider! Three kids hanging off it! Check, please! There he is! He's heading for the airport! Hey, Dina! You want a surprise?
got a pleasant flight. You have to help us. Chris is in danger. We have to get to her quick. Victor Hugenet, the famous art forger. He attacked Miss Wilbur with a baboon, and he stole the crown of the Kosa princess. Arrest him. You have not seen the last of Victor Eugenie. Arresting you for theft. That was a very generous thing you did in there, Miss Wilbur. No, it wasn't. Making Skeleton Island into a nature preserve and a museum will be good for both of us. The fact is, you were right and I was wrong. A Wilbur is always ready to admit a mistake. Really? Besides, there is another reason. Young lady, I believe you have something similar to this. They fit together perfectly. We are cousins. What? Yes, it's true. Bob's done his research. <laughs> Pete? You dropped this. I had to reschedule your flight for today. But it was worth it. I'm proud of you. The three investigators did a great job. Thanks, Dad. I guess this is goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye, Bob. Goodbye, Pete. Pete? Pete. It's OK. <laughs> and Jupiter. I think we should preserve a correct detective-client relationship. Don't you? <laughs> Get in the car, boys. Let's go, boys. Bob, don't tell your mom. Bye, Chris. Goodbye, three investigators. Bye. Call me.
Hey, Jupe. What are you figuring out, Jupiter? The number of jelly beans that can fit in the Empire State Building. Glad you're not wasting your time. It's a magazine competition. The prize is a Golden Rolls Royce replete with a chauffeur for a month. It's never gonna happen. Time to file away the mystery of Skeleton Island. And we can cross Victor Huginet off her to-do list as well. Perhaps. Great. We got two weeks of vacation left. Let's hit the beach. Actually, I have heard of this mysterious haunted house not far from here. Oh, oh no. no.